Hi, it's Lucy at TF Tools here. Um, I thought I'd talk you through the Buckaroo pouches. We've had these in stock for a couple of months now. It's a new brand to Europe and they have a few different styles of pouches in the range. We thought it'd be helpful to talk you through some of them so you can get an idea of different um, sizes of the pouches and also organisation that they each offer. So I'm going to run through them in size order. So the first one, which is the smallest in their range, is called the Buckaroo Hold All Pouch. So this has two simple pockets. The central pocket here can fit a four inch uh, micro square. The next pouch up is called the Cabinet Makers Pouch. So this has some leather dividers for small tools inside. There are one, two, three, four divisions there. Um, and then on the front there is a tape clip and a small pocket there as well. So those two side by side. And then moving on to the two pocket range. So this is the kind of main sizing that they have in most of their pouches, I would say. So it starts with the base of two pockets. This will fit a seven inch square in it. You've then got a second pocket at the front. There is this panel, which they have on most of their pouches, um, which are this size and above, which you have a pocket here and then two small pockets at the front, um, which can be used for carpenter's pencils or drill bits. So inside this one, there isn't any further organization, just two pockets. The next one up is the three pocket. So the three pocket one has, again, pocket that you can fit the seven inch square in here. Can also go in a secondary pocket as well. And then the third pocket at the front is just more for kind of fixings really. It's much, it's quite a wide fit. It's also the way that it's been stitched, it means that you can get your hand in quite easily. And again, there's this panel here um, for some further organization as well. A lot of these pouches come in either black or brown leather. So that's an idea of the two side by side. This is a two pocket version. So that was the one we are looking at just now. So one, two pockets in the front compared to one, two, three pockets there. When they have this pouch on the front, this is then called a version B. So this would be a two pocket version B. Other comparables here. This is a three pocket bag. One, two, three pockets in black and brown. Again, just open pockets. They don't have further division. So again, roofing square will fit in here, in here, but it won't go in the front one really. Um, and then you've got these panels on the front. And then to give you an idea of the actual drop on them as well. So they produce um, an extended longer range as well with the same kind of pocket layouts. So these are called the low drop. So it depends where you wear your belt, how high up you wear it in the small of your back as to how far your pouches fall down your side. So with these low drop ones, it means that it will allow your pouch to sit a bit further down. So this is the difference that you're looking at between the two, this much along the bottom as to where it would then fall at the top of your leg. As you can see the back of them as well, they are cut at tapered, so they are a slightly wider pocket too. So this is the four pocket version. You've got one, two, three, and then the fourth pocket here, again for the fixings. That's in the brown, and that's it in the black. And then they do the low drop as well in a three pocket. So you've got one, two, and then three there. At the moment, we've seen that we've had quite a lot of uh, specific products that are best sellers in their range. Um, this one, which is called the Bespoke Bag, um, has by far um, been the best seller. So this one's got a lot more rigidity and structure to it than the other pouches you'll notice. So these are all quite flat in profile, you know, until you load up your tools inside. This one holds a structure already. So you can see it's got these panels in it. It's also reinforced with a leather section inside, which then also creates these divisions for slightly larger hand tools on the inside here compared to some of the other organisation in the pouches on offer. 
there is also this pouch at the front, this pocket here, which has some small division for drill bits along the front here. Um, it's got the organizational panel there. And then this pocket on the front has got quite a lot of structure to it because of the way that the rivets are attached and the fold in the bottom of the pocket, it means it's always sitting open. So it's actually the easiest for getting fixings in and out compared to, if I do a comparison to this one here, you kind of have to open it to put the fixings in and out. This one has got the structure, so it's just ready to grab. Also, another nice feature on this is the tape clip holder. So they've actually put one on each side. So it's effectively ambidextrous. So you can put your tape clip on whichever side you wear it, whether you're left or right-handed. So hopefully that is a useful overview for you of the different pouches on offer, the organization that they have. If you have any further questions and you want to clarify any more details, do just drop us a message in the comments and we will come back to you. Thanks. Also, another follow-up point is we will be doing some separate videos on the Buckaroo belts and suspenders as well that are part of their range.